All right. Strange to be live on a Friday. All right. That's not how to start yet. Okay. There we are. Oh, we're on. All right. Uh, thank you, Andy, for tuning in. We see your message. Got a uh, little bit of a reveal tonight. Yeah, we got a small PSA sub. Uh, some really fun stuff. A lot of gold refractors, uh, some red refractors, a bunch of SSPs in here, some fun stuff. It's 18 cards. It should go fairly fast. Um, yeah. I am already sweating. And now this one has been, we had a little bit of a delay with this one. So it was, we weren't sure what to expect because it got stuck in the completing days yeah. for like six days. So we got it here. Um, thank you, everybody, for the good luck wishes. Uh, what's up, Ben? I I hope we have got the got a good grader. Yeah, I don't know. Jeff, I really shouldn't hold knives. Do you want to do the cutting? Okay, I'll slice this yeah. open. Try not to slice my hand off. Before we get started, it's a quick. Just quickly, I want to take a, a moment to thank Jeff's wife for allowing allowing us to jam this into their very busy uh, Friday evening schedule. Um, I like to say that uh, Jeff has two kids, but his wife actually has four. Yeah, that sounds about right. This is our adopted child. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we are, 18 <laughs> cards. I'm also lagging way behind the other two <laughs> in terms of development. We're waiting on but, Chris's report card for yeah. the Ooh, trimester. Yeah, that, that could be bad. Ooh. All tens. Uh, One more cutting. Oh, didn't quite get the number. Yep. Uh, Perk, we are probably not looking at all tens. There are some, some. Yeah, we got some older cards. A lot of 2010 and 2011 uh, gold and red refractors. So we're thinking. Hopefully nines on those. We have 18 cards. I think what we we had said is if we can get like eight to nine gems, we'd be very happy. That would be great. Yes. All right. So give me a second to attempt to get these out without seeing anything. Okay. Yeah. So we have a couple Chrome SSPs from our set collecting from 2012 through 2014. I'm think, not sure what we've got in. I think there's two 2014s and a 13. Okay. So we can uh, yes, guess what the names are. Some special SSPs. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got a couple, and then, uh, like okay. Chris said, a lot of early parallels from the 2010s. So. Uh, Flawed thing or any special SSPs? Well, truly, we think all SSPs are special. Yes. Much every, like my every, grade school teacher said I was special. Every SSP is special uh, but yes, in its own way. We have three that we think are, are extremely special. Yeah. I'm trying to just navigate here without giving anything, without seeing anything. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. So let's just get right into this. Yes. No reason to... Let's see what we got oh, here. Speaking of SSP, here we go. So What's our up, first Barney? card. Oh yeah. Okay. Is a very shiny. Sorry, we're not using a phone, so I gotta come up with another angle here. It's a Paul Goldschmidt 2014. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Um, it's appropriately wearing sunglasses as we blind him with our light here. Um, so yeah, based on our notes, uh, this one should gem. It looks really, really nice. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, All whew. right. Hoping to see that G. Uh, 4D cards. Yeah, I am excited to have Adam Duvall back. He's a, a great player. Um, we talked about it on Blabbin last night, and I, I had said that the Braves were very clear that Kellenick was not in a in a um a platoon. But guess what? Kellenick's in a platoon now. Yeah. All right, so give me a second. Let me find the sweet spot. And for here. the Red Sox not to keep him. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I can't understand the Red Sox, but here we go. All right, so we're hoping if you're familiar with how we do this, we are really hoping to see a G here. Jeff, you got an angle around, on the screen. Yeah, here we go. I'm here we go. Let's, Let's see, see it. it. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Oh, upside down. All right. That's a great start. Uh, while we're here, Star Huddle is here for the PSA's SSP descriptors. What do they call this? Oh, one? that's right. I forgot to even mention it. This one is sunglasses. That's yes, as many are. Yeah. Yeah. I think appropriately named, but I mean, they could have called it looking, you know, close up in hat. Yeah. All sorts of fun options here. But um, but yeah, pretty excited. Hey, I collect Ichiro. What's going on, man? Dustin Phillips, how are you? Yeah, very excited. This is eh, it's it's Goldschmidt's only Chrome SSP. Yeah, it's our yeah, first so 2014. That? That's his third year. What was his? Uh, yeah, 2011 is his yeah. rookie. So 12, 13, 14 is third Chrome card. Yeah. He doesn't have a Chrome yeah. rookie, but uh, All right, David good start. Would, uh, Jorge would have put teeth. Yeah, it's still, yeah. They're, they're not blinding like a certain. Yeah, they're not quite man. We know. But. Yeah, they're not Freeman or Aaron Judge size, but those are a pretty good set of chompers. Paul Goldsmith's got on right there, or in I should say. Yeah, it's a it's a smile. Yeah, I remember looking at this one. There's a lot of silver in the background, and Jeff and I were very yeah. impressed that the border and the side or behind him were sort of flaw free. Yes, that was great. 
All right. Okay. All right. So good one stuff. Jam. Yeah. All right. Quick. Yeah. All right. KC, thanks for joining. Uh, live reveals entertaining and informative. Yes, they're uh, they're uh, a little stressful. They are Not stressful. Lie. They are stressful. And... But it's exciting to to share our our joy and pain with other card collectors yes. out there. Yes, because we let everyone knows the pain. Everyone knows the stress and the pain. Yeah. So we may as well just all do it together. It's like a support group yes. in a way. Yes, you guys are our support group. All right. So next up, we have an opening day SSP. Let me try to see if I can. Here we go. Oh yeah. So this is uh, Bryce Harper and Blooper. We've talked about this card before. Yep. Blooper played a little practical joke. Accidentally got Harper, tricked Harper into signing a $300 million check. Um, so yeah, this card is really cool. It's the only place this image is, unless it's on a Tops Now card. It looked really nice. You can kind of tell the dark darkness on this corner. There may be like a touch of wear, but... Um, yeah, small touch, we were thinking. But it's a cool card. Yeah. So honestly, I'd be really happy with a nine just to have this card because it's so rare. I got to get used to where the, um, yeah. the computer camera is, but here we go. So we're hoping for a G, but we're kind of ex kind of expecting an M. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. And they ate at bit, us. A little bit disappointing. Okay, so we've got Which an eight. Uh, kind of a kick in the nuts, but what can you do? The pop is really low. The card's super rare. It is what it is. Yeah. That's a bummer. I got excited because on the back, you can see that bottom corner there. That on 2020s, that bottom dark corner is where you're going to see a lot of the trouble spot. Always a touch of white. But um, uh, I hate that. Minutes. Yeah. Uh, M. Parsons wanted a descriptor for that one. It's interesting. Um, they just call it SP, which is interesting. We call it SSP. They could have at least included blooper on, in some way. Yes. Yes. Blooper. Giant check. Practical yeah. joke, SSP. All right, uh, so we're two cards in. We got one, so one good and one. We kind got a of, pile of tens and a pile of eights. Yeah, and kind of a, a flick in the nutsack there with the other one. But <sighs> yeah. All right. All right. You're right. Uh, David asks, I, we don't have any Kurt's card juice. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've seen the soaking work really well, but I can't. I, I can't bring myself to think about putting a card. Yeah. in liquid for no an hour four hours overnight i know he does some of them and i guess maybe maybe it makes more sense with with vintage cards with those old ones that he does a lot of that the the paper is so dry i can it see kind that. of brings the shape back but i would just worry about falling apart just yeah like yeah the cards are so yeah. glossy today and i mean let's be honest quality control isn't great oh yeah it's dirty all right yeah all right so next up, we have our uh, we have the the green in the sub. This is not just yes. your regular green. This is a Juan Soto image variation green. They did a great job with green that that season. Yeah, yeah. This this card's cool. So it's his chrome image variation, and they did it. I mean, his white really jumps out. They kept the cup on it. A lot to like on this. This yeah. was in a pure BGS pure gems lab. It was, and we had thought about trying a crossover, and then we thought, well, as the price dropped and dropped, it seemed pointless to <laughs> drag crossing over. So we thought, well, let's crack it out, yeah. and send it. But it looked great. Yeah, we're getting like okay, so. some it's like impressive lowball offers because it was a BGS slab. So we figured let's just go ahead. Wait, am I going the right way here? I think so. Okay, sorry, I got turned around. Boom. There we go. Jesus. All right. Okay. G. Good lord. G G G G G. Yes. yes. Okay. Right. Woo. Good. That's yeah. That's one huh. that looked great. Yeah. Standing off, and I'm glad that. Good shine it's on not, this one. Yeah. Soto's due for a decent season, I think. I'm due for a decent start, right? Yeah, he's in he's in a pretty good spot. Yeah. Um, so I think we're all expecting outrageous things. I saw uh Jeff Passan on ESPN had like a preseason preview, and he said, if you want to win your fantasy league, do whatever you can, trade up for the number two spot and just draft Juan Soto. Oh, that's... Now, to be fair, Jeff Passan does not play fantasy baseball, so I'm not sure he's aware <laughs> <laughs> of how categories work, but still I, I like this card a lot. The image is kind of silly. It's like he's it's just practice like straight up sliding. Photo, yeah, maybe yeah. for a photo shoot, there's like a line of guys behind him. I think it's sliding practice. They it's got a sliding, sliding pad out there, spring training. Yeah. You can't imagine Soto doing a lot of sliding. No, <laughs> he's probably not doing a lot of sliding. No. All just right. Stay on your feet. All right. Three cards in. So we're, we're hitting 667, which yeah. you know is, is pretty good. Yeah. All right. What do we got next? Oh, we got something really shiny. Ooh. All right. But if you have sunglasses, I would recommend putting them on. So this is a 20. 10 Oof. tops finest Ken Griffey Jr. uh gold refractor. I mean it is 
trying to get an angle where we can actually yeah. see it. That's extremely shiny. This is just an amazing design. And it's from this era that's sort of forgotten about. We call I call it the pre-Freeman era, but it's probably <laughs> the pre-Trout era in most <laughs> people's minds. But I mean, these cards are just absolutely gorgeous. Like the shine on here. So this one looked great, except you can see by his hands, there's a little mark. It's a tiny dimple. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, right. I if I can, I yeah, it's a, little tough. it's a little tough backwards. But we're going to say right there. Yeah. Right about up there. But the rest of the card looked absolutely perfect. So open for a nine. Yes. The etched logo in the background looks awesome. Yeah. These yeah. finest designs yeah. from 10, 11, 12 are great. I got all turned around with that Soto. There. All right. That's better. Okay. So we're hoping to see an M, most likely. It's getting real narrow. So I like it. Oh, oh son yeah. Of a bitch. Mm. <sighs> I tell you, this grader is going to put me in an early grave. Anyway, a tough one. I mean that that was really the only yeah. issue we saw. Yeah, I mean it's you can see the dimple. Yeah, we'll try to get a good angle there. Yeah, you can see it right under his. Yeah, hand. right under his hands. But I mean that was legitimately it. Well, two for four. These are baseball cards. I guess we should be happy to bat five hundred. Yeah, I don't know. Personally, finest was slept on for so many years. Yeah, Chris picked up a, a handful of these twenty tens. Another one coming just recently. Yeah. All right. So uh, there's another one right behind it. This is Amori Smith's Crack and Resub. Uh, that I tell you, if you've subbed with PSA recently, their new slabs are real tough to crack. They're they're brutal. Yeah. yeah. So this is the Clayton Kershaw. Same set, same year, same variation or uh, gold refractor. Yeah. You got the Dodgers logo etched there in the back. Right? Yeah. This one looks great. And as you can maybe tell, there's nary a dimple on this one. There was one like really faint scratch. That we just couldn't do anything with. So Let's see, I would be hoping for a nine, but based on the Griffey, I'm kind of expecting. Oh, wrong way. Kind of expecting to see. Oh, well, oh. went the other way. Yeah. No suspense on this one, and it's another eight. Two tens and three eights. I tell you, I knew that the 2013 SSP sub was going to come back to bite us. It's a really beautiful card. At least I know it's safe. Uh, per cards, I can assure you that uh, some of Kurt's card care was man was used. Yeah, these are tough because there's so much gold on there. Yeah, can't remember. Did we did we note anything besides that? Just just there's a scratch by his shoulder. Scratch, yeah. Hmm. This guy's pretty. M. Harsh. Parson says, "Take a breath and regroup." Uh, I'm going to replace the word "breath" with the word "sip." Uh, David, will PSA just start their own card cleaning service? I wouldn't be shocked. As I understand it, that's that's par for the course for comic book and coin grading. So I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if they started that either. Just a little add on cost. Damn it. It's just kind of a weird. It seems thing. like a conflict. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, Halo Hobby Cards pulled a gold mirror, uh, Seattle Mariners team card. I have been raving about oh. the team cards at a yeah. series one. They look amazing. And I'm sure there are Mariners fans who would love that. Um, oh God, is it Rocky Mountain? Is that who I'm thinking on Instagram? Yes. Yeah, check out an Instagram yeah. handle, Rocky Mountain Sports Cards. Huge Mariner fan. He uh, he might be very interested to... in that. I think that's who it is. Yeah, and who's on the the Mariner? That's one I haven't looked at. I, you got to assume know. Julio Rodriguez right. is on going to make an appearance. Okay, I have a feeling the eights are going to continue, but this time it's okay. Hey, what's up, Teapot? Hey, Ty. Welcome. Uh, I got a question here. Picked up a bunch of Acuna Soto rookie cards, CGS, CSG, CGS slabs in 50% box, all nine, five worth cracking. Maybe take a close look at them. Yeah. I mean, the, the slab, yeah. the new slabs they're uh, they are a softer plastic. They're really hard to crack and you just, yeah. they kind of just bend. Yeah. They're like, uh, yeah. Jeff looked like he was wrestling the, the T1000. Yeah. Yeah, Terminator fan. Um, but yeah, I would say those others, those random slabs, I would crack them out of there. I don't think those slabs add any value to the card, the what the slabs that they're currently in. So mm -hmm. you're probably better off with raw cards. Anyway, I can see that Amari Smith. Um Dustin, you're not wrong, man. I mean, I I tell you, these three eights have me shot after every card. Well, let me let me tell you, Dustin, our next order, which is due in next week, yeah. is a 50 card order. So Chris might die before we get through that order right. if he took a shot after every after every car yeah right. but listen we all have to die sometime yeah. all right you're a good way to go I yeah i mean it's kind of a famous way to go yeah. per cards you're right let's stay positive so here we go our next up is one of the very few derek jeter cards um 
Yeah. That I own. This is out of 2011. I love this design, uh, probably because Freeman's rookie is in it. I had a chance to grab a gold. You can tell the centering is, well, let's call it dog shit because that's that that's pretty much what it is. It's This is a pretty wide issue with golds in this set. Yeah, centering wasn't great. Yeah. Quality control. So everything else about this card looked great. The surface was really good, the back, the corners, the edges. So there's a chance that this percentage with our rudimentary math, we thought a nine was possible. But based on <laughs> from what we've seen, they're a little tough. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. So I am at this point not expecting. Yes. I think Nitro was tough. Centering is very off. This was a bad is. year. If you want to see something interesting, go look at the PSA pop report for golds out of this set. I think there's five PSA tents. Absolutely nuts. All right. So let's see. Show me an M. Show me an M. Never root for an M so hard. Hey. <laughs> All right. Nice. That's great. That is awesome. That's really exciting. There are no tens of this card. So this is technically, I, I think there might be one other nine, but one of the highest graded copies. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, Dustin, hopefully a lot of tens in the next order. Uh, Ooh, shiny gold. What did Ty say? We should oh, use death, death by PSA. You guys need Kurt's car care. Well, we were talking earlier about some, some soaking. We might have to look into the Soaking. I, I don't know if the Wemby got some soaking to make the centering better. Somehow that centering kind of helped the centering. The centering did not look good on that Wemby card. But if you're gonna, if you're not sure how to soak, uh, make sure your uh, your browser's on like safe before you start googling these terms. <laughs> card soaking. Yeah. You may. Yeah. But anyway, this card's really cool. Just a nice gold. Yeah. Really Love great design. Shine. Yep. Uh, card cleaning becoming more prevalent. Will PSA 10 start to lose their value a bit? I don't think so, David. Uh, the the quality with which these cards are coming from the manufacturer makes it still difficult to get a 10, uh, no matter how yeah, well you can that. clean it. Uh, M. Parsons suggests we throw them in the pool for a bit. Yeah, a little chlorine. Does that count as a foreign substance? Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. It, it might freeze the cards right now. Yeah. All right, so up next, we have another Chrome SSP. It's one of our favorite images out of 2014. Uh, this is Miguel Cabrera. Yes. High-fiving his teammates. Now, what do we think this one is called? I, I didn't look it up. And PSA didn't offer us an option. So it should be like high fives yeah. with team. With teammates. With teammates. I don't know. But if you can get a look, they, the, this card just looked incredible. All that silver and there was nary a scratch, no dimples, no nothing. A lot of D on this card. A lot of Ds. But uh, standing. Standing. He, that, standing, yeah. sure. Yep. Sunglasses even. Raising arm. <laughs> Hands. Hands. <laughs> with team Shelly. Yeah. Team, yeah. All right, well, let's see the grade. And All right, let's, let's see the grade well, here. I guess we'll see the name. Yep, we'll, we'll see, see the what grade. call it first. With belt. <laughs> <laughs> Left ears showing. <laughs> oh, I like that one. That would be... God, I'm getting turned around. Okay. They're doing it backwards on the computers throwing me here. All right, here we go. All right, so they are calling it high five. Singular. High five. Well, I, I see multiple high fives being exchanged here, but I guess we'll take it. All right, so let's see. This one, this one we need to see the G. Show me the G, baby. We got to get a G on this got to be there yes all right uh, upside down ty says the image should be called miggy with scrubs 70 and 92 <laughs> <laughs> well as a detroit fan you're allowed to say that ty but keep in mind um, this was 20 they took this picture in 2013 ty so i mean the team was better then right were they i can't remember they kind of were so good and so bad yeah well, so often in the last decade and a half well, I, I don't want to twist a knife in poor teapot side but 2013 they lost in the lcs to the red sox Remember the, uh, the the Grand Slam Ortiz hit that basically saved Boston's season over of uh, into right field. Tory Hunter falling over the wall trying to catch it. Falling over the wall. Yeah. That was that series. That was that series. Yeah, he doesn't hit that Grand Slam. The Tigers go up two nothing back to Detroit, and they probably go to the World Series. Anyway, I'm, again, I apologize, Teapot. But yeah, so th this makes me happy. This brings me back. So we got right now four four thumbs up, three thumbs down. So we're right, so we're back we're, on top. We're about there. Yeah. PSA typo should say high fives. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're so inconsistent with their. I could always send it back and ask them to. I did try when we uh, years ago we subbed the Bobichet tops Chrome SP, where he's wearing that like really thin, um, like dry fit shirt, and I don't know his nipples are like sticking out of this <laughs> shirt. And we put in the notes like, please say Bobichet like SP nipples, and. PSA did not do it. <laughs> so and they sent it back as a five. Yeah. <laughs> and they crushed the grade too. Um, uh, you're right. So Ty says they were 93 and 69. Yeah, so. they were really good. Yeah. 
Uh, Verlander was still there. I think Scherzer was still there. Porcello was probably still there. Yes, Chris has straight up savant brain with baseball events, especially postseason, baseball yeah. postseason. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why MVPs, that is. awards. Yeah. yeah, I will use my phone for directions to get home from Jeff's house, and he lives about four traffic lights away. <laughs> but I can remember random The 2013 play. LCS. Yeah. All right, so Look here we go. This is a 2010 uh, Topps Chrome Joe Maurer Gold Refractor. Um, this card is awesome. I had said at one point uh, when I first got it, we were talking on Blavin, uh, sort of joking that Joe Maurer was probably flagging down a Francisco Liriano wild pitch. And some one of our viewers tracked this. They're playing the Rays and they're on the road. And there was like three games against the Rays in, in, in Tampa Bay in 20, 2009. And Liriano did pitch one of them. So, so I, it could. Yeah, it, could it very, be. very well. It could, it could be right. But this card looked really, really nice for a 14-year-old Topps Chrome uh, raw card. I think it had like a print line. So I'd be thrilled with a 10. But I'm probably expecting a All 9 right. just because of the New Hall of Famer, Joe Maurer. Yeah. David, you're right. If they had, if they would put nipples on there, I could have I could have sold that card for so much more. All right, so here we go. New Hall of Famer Joe Maurer. I I just love the action on this. This is a great looking set, by the yeah. way. We can talk about that some other time. All right, hold on, let me get closer to the camera. Here we go. Soccer slide. We want to see a G. We're not gonna see a G. So hopefully we just show me the oh, M at least. Far over okay, getting all right. All right, we'll take a nine. On knees, yes. Yeah. 14 year old chrome cards. I you gotta be happy with a nine. Yeah, and this, the, the gold on these great. looks really good. That looks great. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put that in the win column. Uh, yeah, Ty, there, there's some fun stuff in this. Uh, like we were saying when it first came on, there's a few SSPs from the, the 2012 to 2014 Chrome sets that Chris and I are trying to get and a bunch of other random stuff that Chris has pulled out lately. Where did you get the finest? Was that at eBay? Uh, Ginterwood Minis. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, one of my favorite uh, Instagram follows. All right, so we have another new um, new Hall of Famer, 2010 Topps Chrome, a red refractor. Look at that. Of Mr. Todd Helton. All right, don't let Scotty B see this yeah, one. Yeah, we don't let Scotty B see this one. So a couple things I really like about this card. The image is awesome. You can see head down right on the ball. This is how Jeff's trying to teach his, his uh, six-year-old how yeah. to hit. Yeah. Um, Todd Helton, for whatever reason, so many of his flagship cards are him catching at first base. I don't know why Topps treated him like that. <laughs> He's like one of the best hitters a of the last 20 hitter, years. Yeah. Anyway, so I I love this card. It's a red. It's They're at a 25 that year, but still pretty cool. When I checked, there were none of these at PSA. And hold on real quick. Just the centering. Everything else about this card was perfect, but you can see left to right. It's a little bit off. But Tyler, this is a family show. <laughs> Scotty's soaking that card for sure. Okay. Yes, uh, absolutely. Okay, here we go. All right. So I think it's the chance to gem, but based on centering and the fact that this grader seems to be a little angry, I'm going to assume we're getting it a mid nine. So here we go. All right. I'm seeing a lot of space. I think it's an appropriate amount of space for a mid nine. Mid nine. Yep. Okay. Yep. Take that. I think that's a win. All right. Well, we can we can sell it to Scotty. I'm sure Scotty would pony up the 10k asking price for sure. For and the plastic would keep it safe from a Scotty soaking. But I mean, just take in this design, guys. If there's players you like that were playing in 2010, go back and look at this yeah. set. Like it's gorgeous, simple, but really nice design. Yep. All right. Now we're uh, oh, we're starting to roll again. All right. We have an, that one. Also goes in the wind pile for yep. anyone keeping score at home. Well, this card's probably already in the lost pile. But... Right. If, if you guys have watched our show, you'll notice that one player in particular that we've decided to target this offseason after looking at his place in history and after last season was Garrett Cole. And so we've gotten a couple of great Garrett Cole cards, including one that was in this in this sub. Including this one. So we have another red refractor, but this one is from 2012 and it's numbered out of five. So this is Garrett Cole's first Bowman Chrome in a Pirates uniform. He does have a 2010 on Team USA, but Hobby doesn't really care about Bryce Harper's or Matt Olson's or Francisco Lindor's or Manny Machado's. So No, nobody likes the USA no. ones. So uh, this card is great. It felt cooler a week ago. Yes. Um, we're still excited to have it. You can tell uh, centering-wise, top to bottom was the main issue. I'm trying to get a good shot here. Um and I had a couple little surface spots because, again, this is like a 13-year-old card, yeah, 12-year-old card. card. And 
for whatever reason, Garrett Cole just wasn't, I don't know. Like he was the number one overall pick. There are zero of these at PSA. You would think. No, yeah. You, you'd think that if they were pulled, they were graded, but this one was Or at so. least kept like securely yeah. and safely. I don't know. But yes, you're right. Uh, no elbow surgery. Um, might be a little liberal with the word fine, uh, but I do like the fact he doesn't need Tommy John. He's, he's a big, strong man. And I think we can expect him back in the second half. And I, worst case scenario, he comes back in the second half, then rips it, and then needs surgery, and then it's like two lost seasons. Then but anyway, here we go. Yeah. so I think I think we were expecting an eight. Yes, yes, we were expecting an eight, and maybe totally fine with an eight. So here we go. I think that's what we got. Yeah. Yep. That's right. Okay. Appropriately graded. Yep. Just really cool. Old time Bauer greater than Cole. Yeah, those those two guys have had a long history. Yeah being mentioned together uh yeah well i'm glad to have it yep i think it goes in the, i mean we were expecting an eight so yep. you got to put it in the win in the win column yep. gotta consider that a win uh all right what do we got yeah a lot of a lot of colors in this for 18 cards there's a lot of yep. gold and not, no red. not a single base card all right we have speaking of people with big teeth oh big teeth big oh let's see some freddy's ben was, yeah. was reading your mind yep Ben, I'm right there with you. So this is uh, Freddie Freeman's opening day uh, SSP from 2018, although I'm sure called SP by opening day. Super rare. Cool hat. Got the Tom Hall. And actually, I, I got this card from uh, Ben or 14 Sports Cards, uh, who's in the chat. And yesterday or two days ago, uh, Ben gemmed a card that uh, we sold to him. So it's only fair. It's only fair. In the hobby world for gem for gem type scenario. Yes, yes. I think it's karmic. Yes. Karmic he seems definitely. like a good guy. I don't think I don't think he sold me this card with like a hidden crease that I couldn't find, although that would actually be kind of funny. All right, here we go. Which way are we going? We're going this way. All right, so this card, if I remember correctly, we thought was was perfect. And they call it gray jersey. Yeah, gray which is jersey. I mean, ridiculous. Because it's it's not gray. No, it's, it's like, like a, a cream. This is the cream jersey, yeah. the same jersey Acuna's wearing in the uh, the vertical. Yep. SSP rookie. So here we go. Oh, it's too much space, and we got another mid nine. Well, this one's gone in the lost pile, but I think there were only like two at PSA, so it's still pretty rare. Kind of annoying that that Tops reused the um, the image from the new era. Yeah, I don't see whatever they saw. I don't see it. Yeah, that looked yeah. really. This really, looks really really nice. Really nice. The wow. corners all look good. I'm holding it together. There will be a lot of profanity when this when this is over. But even the blue there, you can see the corners look really good. Ben thought it was perfect. Yeah, yeah. it was. And this yeah. this would be one where it was easier to crack. It yeah, if it were easier to crack right it. back in. Yeah, this was yeah, definitely one. In the condition we saw it, I think if we graded it 10 times, it would gem nine. <sighs> All right, that yeah. one's going in the lost pile. I, unfortunately, I hate to do it's it. I had to say, but it's great to have that card. It's still it a is. really rare card. Yeah, it's the only one I've really had the ability to acquire. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, so uh, here we go. Let me see what's next. I want to see what we got we... left. Uh, I wanted to get to the Ichiro first. Sultry oh, look one. without big teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Original teeth would have been a... Uh... So we got seven, uh, 11. So we got seven left. Okay. All right. So this All is right. one, of, one of the best looking cards in the sub. Here we go. A Ken, George Kenneth Ken Griffey Jr. 2010 gold refractor. Trying to get a Back in the there. Mariners yep. uniform. Interestingly... Um, let me get a good angle here. There we go. So Griffey's got a lot of cards played for a very, very long time. I think he only has two years of gold refractors number to 50. This one in the year before it. So 09 and 10. Cause like in 02, I don't think they were numbered. And then they were numbered like 449 or some weird number. They finally figured out the 50 thing in 09. And uh, this card just looks great. That perfect follow through kind of bit of an older man physique. <laughs> But uh, still the beautiful Griffey swing. Um, when I looked, there were like three or four PSA 9s, and that's it. So this card is really, really hard to find. If it gems, it's huge. But if it 9s, I think it's great. Yeah. All we saw was a, was a pretty pretty solid print line. Yeah, I mean, it looked great. It, this one could go either way. Yeah. After seeing this greater, I'm thinking it's more likely to be. I, I'm full on expecting a 9 here. Um, and that's, you know, that's, that's fine. I, uh, here we go. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. All right, I feel like it's too much space. Too much. I think space. we would have seen a G. Too much space. All right. All so right. we got the mid nine. Is yeah, what it is. I mean, it's pretty it, thick. Yes, it was towards the end of his career, David. Yeah. Oh, man. But yeah, the mechanics were still there. 
just packing a few extra pounds on his way. But this is just a beautiful, absolutely beautiful card. Yeah. Yeah. It was a long shot to gem, so I get it. But that yeah. was a but you can uh the centering on this one, unlike the Helton, is just dead on. Yep. Just perfect. All right. So I we are gonna count this one as a win. Gotta count it as a win. Yeah. I mean, we are the the gem was a hope. It was a wing and a prayer. Yes. More than yeah. Oh, oh, I guess. Oh, Let's try that. All right. So we've got six left. Six left. We got another gold coming up. This one could also be called Original Teeth. So this is a Freddie Freeman second year gold refractor. And um, we put some of Jeff's card care on this, and it just, it looks perfect. Yeah, it was a little dirty. It was dirty. It was a little bit dirty. But yeah, just, just a great card. I had this one for a while. Finally decided, let's see what happens. So this one, definitely hoping for the G. We're yes. hoping for the 10. And Johnny, you're right. Nine, nine is a great grade on the Griffey. We're happy with that. Yeah, I, I can't complain about that one. Like, I mean, the, the 2010s are this one. I will complain loudly. Oh, great. <laughs> All, All right. right. Sorry, Jeff, and sorry for Jeff's kids. All yeah. right, here we go. Come Find on, your wife and kids. Ah, fuck! It's too much room. Uh, uh, damn it! So we have uh, the anti grader that we had last time. Just, just... nine city today. Ay, ay, ay. And eight, sadly. Yeah. yeah, this is such a beauty. It really sucks. Oh, sorry if anyone's watching with their kids. Uh, oh. uh, Griffey Jr. Oh. has a 2020 Topps Chrome Update Gold Refractor 2. So he has three of them out of 50. Oh, is it? Right. What's the two, update two, one? Two playing days and one... <laughs> Soak in... Much further. Puke? Okay. Soak in Pope. Yeah, the, the non-playing day ones, I, re I wasn't really counting. I mean, I know he's probably got, he's in like every year a stadium club and I'm sure he's in a bunch of, uh... okay. You want to do the intro on this one, Jeff? Oh yeah, here's another card that might be one of the most beautiful cards. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're very excited about this. Uh, Mookie Betts, in front of the flag. Uh, this is, what? what's your stadium club is this? 2018. 20, yeah, 2018 stadium club, SSP. Uh, we managed to get this off eBay. And it looked incredibly clean when we got it. Yeah, it did. If you're familiar with the set, the backs of these cards have so much dark. Yes. So those corners show everything. Yeah. Especially the bottom ones, brown ones. And it looked great. Yeah, this one looked perfect. I, I haven't looked. I assume the pop is very small. But it's just a great image of Mookie Betts on the team that, uh, you know, drafted, developed him, won his first World Series. He should still be there now. But... What is it? Two red bars? That's actually, that's a great <laughs> question. Yeah. What are they going to call this one? I don't know. Do they even, do you think they mention the flag? Is it possible PSA just doesn't even talk about the flag that's behind him? It'd be like jogging, warm up. I or it might just say, ask <laughs> With hat. With, uh, amazing. I can't think of what his base. No glove. Like. Yeah. Says, no, no glove. glove. Yeah. Yeah. I can't think of what his 28, what is, what his base card looks like, but I bet he's holding a glove. So I don't know. All right, so again, this one was was flawless. Independence, that would be great. Okay, here we go. All right, the good news is flag in the background is an appropriate... Flag in background. An appropriate descriptor. Take a breath. Take a breath. Suppressing rage. All right, here we go. Come on, show us the G. Just show us the G. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, my gosh. They're giving us nothing. Uh, nothing. This guy... That is such a perfect card. Yeah. I mean, I'm just looking at the back right now. I don't see anything except a single tear, which may, may, you may have caught fall from my eye. Jesus. All right. Well, I might have to invest in a bandsaw. Yeah. Some, some of these really need to get yeah, cracked Some out. of these are going to have to come out. That is unreal that that one got a nine. That is absurd. All right. Well, I'm going to skip over this one. Yeah. I wish you guys could see this in person because it is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect all around. They might as well have just given us a six like they did on that the Gal Cabrera gem we had sent. Yeah, seriously. I, I don't I don't get it. I don't maybe they just maybe they thought it should have a border. I mean, I have no idea. That one that one really stupefies me. Yeah, PSA only gems soaked cards these days. Yeah. Wow, that's that one's brutal. That one hurts. Oh, okay, so we have four cards left, and I'm gonna tell you right now that. Two of them we know have no chance of gemming. In fact, the uh, the dummy <laughs> card we sent in to try and make our other cards look better is is still here. So, 
Grading uh, is whack. I rest my case. Teapot, it's hard to argue when you get when you get one like this. It yeah, is hard I mean, to this, argue. This one's tough. It would look a lot better, you know, next. <laughs> did to... you guys send all these in top loaders? <laughs> we did not, James. No, no, we sent them exactly how they wanted. Yeah. Well, all right. So up next, we have Clayton Kershaw's 2011. Um, so I just really like this card. I think it's just beautiful. You can tell right off the bat, top to bottom centering is not good. So definitely not going to gem this one. And it had one really faint but fairly long scratch right across his chest that we just could not do anything about. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could have soaked this all day long, and I, that this wasn't going to go anywhere. So look at that shine, though. Yeah, it, it's Man. a beautiful card. So my hope in grading it, there's like very few of these at PSA. So I just like looking at them. Uh, James, you're right. That's a really great looking set. So I, I would have said like, let's go for Nate. But honestly, I'm expecting authentic at this point. So here we go. I was just laughing. I see a G show up here. Right. See a lot of space. Okay. Right. Midnight. Uh, <laughs> how does this card? That's the same grade. I don't know, man. I this as this card. Yeah, that's unreal. If you looked at these two cards next to each other, they, they should be like they should be two grades apart. Yes. I mean, wow. don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled. Like this is really exciting. But this has no business being in a nine, and this has no business being in a nine. So, but yes, I'm excited. I'm sorry, that's the wrong face. Yes, this I'm I'm thrilled about this card. I'm really happy that this card. Yes, congrats, that's great. That's I great. love this set. Um, I'm trying to get like I have sort of a, a loose hobby goal of getting all the Hall of Famers in a gold out of the set. And I was thinking like eight or above, but now maybe I should think nine or above. Nine or above. Yeah. So yeah, that's gonna go in the win column. Yes, for sure. All right, well, let's go with the other The other one we know is kind of a piece of crap. All right, sorry. God, my language today is really bad. I apologize. Not really. All right. So this is this is what Jeff and I called our dummy card. It was a dummy card. And it's not, it's not a slug on Ichiro. The surface of this Ichiro card, uh, M. Parsons with a very interesting question. PSA on average grades 60,000 cards a day. Right, so depending how many graders they have, it's a lot of card per grader. Yeah, I mean, you figure... 100 cards a day per person, that's probably doable with some Adderall mixed into your coffee. Anyway, so Jeff, you want to tell them why we put this card in? Yeah, so uh, you'll you'll recognize this card comes from the same, let me see. So we, put, we put that one in the wind. From the same set as his teammate over here. Yeah. Uh, the condition on the each row, especially on the surface, was far inferior to the condition on the Griffey. So we thought... Maybe if we put the Ichiro first, it'll make the Griffey look even better. Next level PSA grading. Maybe maybe the PSA realized we were doing that and they just sticks it to us. Um, the battery, yes. I already have the Freeman from that set. Uh, thank you for asking. And there's one PSA 10 on the pop report and I uh, that happens to be the one. Yeah. So here we go. So this one, I would expect, based on what we're seeing here, at a seven. Yeah, probably a seven. Because the uh, the surface was 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 a little little gross. Centering was was dead on though, and plus we just love each row. Seven, seven or it could be a ten after seeing. It. Yeah, I mean honestly, yeah. Last one. Maybe they think this is what services should look like. I don't know, but let's see. What do we got? It's a pretty big space. Near me, an eight. Oh, so probably accurately graded. Yeah, Maybe a touch high. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, seven or an eight is what we were expecting. Oh, all right. Uh, just got the result back, and my dummy card gemmed, but the target card got a nine. <laughs> oh man! It's like I think maybe they know. Maybe they <laughs> maybe know. they're like we're just gonna give, and it they're just up. gonna stick it to you. I mean, it's uh, just it's our grader just got a park parking ticket and dropped his phone in the toilet. That might explain some of the. Yeah, I don't know, but anyway, this card is really cool. We love the gold, and this design is great. And yeah, so I'm very happy that this we're happy this specific card aided. Yes. It's that, the, is, is that the verb? The eight that we're happy with. In this yes. Sub. Okay, so we've got all right. Pools, and then we, what's the other one? Oh, the harbor. We'll Two do, cards we'll, left. We'll do pool holes last because that's going to be right. the ultimate pick on the nuts. May as well save that one. Man. Okay. All right. So we got? have a gold and an SSP to go. All right. Two cards left. Let's see some uh, some last card mojo. I collect each row. You got uh, you have a red and a ten. That's that's oh, fantastic. It's yeah, a it's great just, image. Yeah. It's a great image. Very Ichiro, right? Yeah. I mean, he's just slapping the ball out. There's such good bat control. Red, awesome. All right. Thanks, T-Pop. We, we, I, you know, I still do like all these cards. I just don't like the person who uh, 
great at that. <laughs> All right, so 2015, Bryce Harper Gold Refractor. Uh, I don't know how to – that flawless card, slightly off side to side. I, we did some rudimentary math on this, and it's it's well within – it's, I think it was like 50. It's within 50 their parameters, yeah. although they've been getting tougher. Their their stated parameters are still 60-40 to get a 10. Yeah. Although if you have a 60-40 and you see it in hand, it should not be a 10. It should not be a 10. This was like this is much closer. Kind of 56, 44, or something like yeah. that. Like it was pretty close. Um, yeah, corners, everything else perfect. So at this point, probably a nine. All right. I would look oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Okay. This backwards thing. It just occasionally throws me. All right, here we go. Give me a reason, a happy reason to drink. Uh, hey, all right. Hey. Woo. Congratulations. I for a minute, I Congratulations. Forgot, I'd forgotten what the letter G even looked like, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. So I was, uh, I was like, oh, it's a typo. The M has a bend in it. So, all right. All right, congrats. That's Very a, happy that's, about that's this. That's a nice. Yeah, really like nice this. Hit. All right, needed that. Uh, battery back in the day, PSA would have have every card graded by two graders. I had heard that too. If they matched, that was the score. If not, a third grader broke the tie. I'm guessing they only use one grader per card now. I think that they do as well. Yeah, I mean, when you're doing sixty thousand cards a day, there's no way they have three people come look at a card unless no. you're paying for like Express, maybe like, the higher service. I would yeah. think you're walking yeah. through like a fifty-four mantle. I imagine yeah. multiple people are going to look at it. All right, here's everybody. Thank you. Yes, that. Now we got one card left to go. This is a very special card. It's a very special card. Now there's something mildly concerning. We really thought we would get an upcharge on this card, and we didn't. Well, that could mean many things. Uh, David, they've not not announced how many graders work there. I think they don't want people to be doing the math and decide how many cards each of those graders is doing because they are publicizing how many cards are graded every day. Yes. So, yeah, they don't want to do that. They definitely want they want to keep as much behind the curtain, I think, as they can. All right. So this is Albert Pujols' 2013 Topps Chrome SSP. Great card. Uh, we've handled quite a few of these. Yes. Astonishingly in the last few months. And this was by far the cleanest. The centering is dead on and usually the main issue with these is left to right uh centering i keep going the wrong way um so yeah the surface is great a lot of silver on this so much silver but it looked really good it looked yeah, really good. good centering was good yeah teapot i mean we're talking like 30 45 seconds a card and it's that's crazy to think but you might be right i, would I think, think so it, i think i think that's right it's, it's got to be like jeff and i take like five minutes per card <laughs> And I, I don't know, maybe we don't do the same volume. Yeah, maybe we're not using our time as wisely. Hopefully they're not drinking while they're doing it the way we are. Let's get this 10 hours. Okay, so here we go. All right. Now, a lot of disappointment in this sub, but it could be saved. It This it, this would save it if this. I would feel least, so, at least so much temporarily, better. Temporarily, yeah. at least until we. Yes. Yeah, tomorrow morning, you know, we're still going to feel a little bit like crap. But a G here is this post swing. God, this card is so nice. It's got, I think this is the Memorial Day jersey. You can see a little camo yes, in the you number. Can see the camo. Number and the, and the name. All right. So, all right, everyone. Oh, brace. thanks, JG Win. Yep. Yep. I got it. Got a trim today. Brace yourself. Here we go. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's too much fucking space. Uh, and they mid nined it, which I guess we should have expected based on the rest of this. Uh, you know, you don't want to wish gonorrhea on anybody, but our greater, I wish him an unsatisfying weekend. That's tough. I just don't, I don't know, man. This card is so nice. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, after the last, our last big sub we did in the spot, I, I had a happy night of drinking. This will be an angry night of drinking. Yeah. But that's for some reason those bad. hurt my liver more wow well i oh my god son of a and and the, and the losses were pretty pretty bad on this one like this should have for sure have been a gem yeah that was one of the yeah guarant like for sure gems of the pile oh boy ah <sighs> well thanks well, for joining us in our in our pain yeah i mean if you joined us for the really the really good one uh two weeks ago um thank you and if you joined us today Yes. Yeah, we had a, we had a lot of people saying 
I wish we had your grader. We want to submit all our cards through you. And I said, this is a very unusual circumstance. We had a really. Yeah. I mean, I really, I, we split up a bunch of these cards. I am positive. If we had put this card in with that other, all the other 2013s, it absolutely gems. Oh my God. It's time for tag grading. No, no, it's not, not quite time for that. No. Thoughts on resubmitting? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, they are very inconsistent. We've done a lot of resubmitting. The thing that's just so disappointing is how hard these are to crack now. Usually you could crack it in like 30 seconds. Now it's like battling a monster. So Yeah, uh, yeah the last time we did a crack, uh, Jeff literally was bloodied by the yes, end. Yes, yes, it bloodied my hand. So uh, there's got to be a better way. We've heard of people using saws. It just seems really dangerous to get a saw that close to the card. Yeah, and that close to us. Well, I mean, you'd, you'd have to stay on the other side. Yeah, I mean, I, I should not be handling a saw. I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, man. I just, I mean, you know, in a vacuum, this is the wins in our mind, and these are the losses. And it does seem like we won, but damn, some of those losses hurt. Yeah, they did Really, hurt. really hurt. Yep, that was going to take a little while to get over. Ay, ay, ay. I am excited. Hold on. Let me just try to... Uh, <laughs> it's really funny to me that some of the stuff nine and some of the other stuff also nine. Well, batter, you better stay away from a saw. <laughs> he says I could cut myself watching us use a saw. Uh, all rise 99, a hell of a typo there, my friend. You're going to want the, the letter A in front of the word grinder. You really don't want to just put on the internet that you use grinder. And if you don't know what that means, I wouldn't Google it. So these are the two, what we're probably happiest about our 2014 uh, tops Chrome. Uh, SSPs, yes, the Goldschmidt and the Cabrera. These two cards are great. Those were nice wins. Yeah, these are pretty early on. They left us cautiously optimistic. Sadly, yes, yeah. Uh, but, Amore, technique for cracking. Well, the old PSA slab, PSA slabs were really easy, and I have a video or a couple videos on our channel. So easy to just crack with a uh, pliers and a like a screwdriver uh, yeah. to pop it off. They pop off like that. Uh, but yeah, these not so much. They look like mirrors. Yeah, those yeah. those 2014, they have so much silver. Very shiny. Yeah. Very, very, very shiny. shiny. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go dry my tears. Yes, yes. Uh man, I tell you. It is what it is. It's a it's a roll of the dice when you when you ask someone else's opinion. Yeah. But. Yep, we gotta take the good with the bad, and we've got a like I said, a 50 card sub yeah. coming. So we'll and I hope we don't have this greater for that. Yeah, I really hope so too. There are a lot of, do we collect heritage variations? Um, Not really. One thing we do like, we like heritage uh, dual autos and we like the red ink autos. Yeah. But in the variations, the throwbacks are fantastic. Throwbacks are great. We don't really know rare. Do. Yeah. I don't even love to see those. Wow. What the hell's a Dremel? Oh. Boy, I need some help on my, work on my tools. But um, but yeah. Oh, by the way, all, yeah, okay. also All Rise 99. I mean, you did get some good luck or good responses for Judge. Hopefully he's back on opening day. But yeah, if they put him in center, who knows how long it's going to last. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Yeah. Well, appreciate everybody here watching. Thanks for joining us on this Friday night. Uh, if you didn't get to watch last night's episode, we talked a lot about fantasy baseball. So we've got drafts coming up. So please check that out. Uh, anything else? Um, eh. All right. <laughs> I don't really know All what right. to say. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Thanks, everybody, again for joining. Please subscribe. Hit the like button and come and find us on, on Instagram, either to cheer us up or laugh at our results. Before we sign off, who was it last night? Was it Jamie that said, uh, call your parents? At oh, the yeah. Show? Jamie Kerrigan. Yeah. yeah, Jamie Kerrigan had a great final note last night. Uh, this weekend, please call your parents. See how they're doing. They miss you. Unless you're living at home, in which case they want you to move out. Right. But if you're not, not give them a call. Yeah. All right. On that note, we'll see you guys next week. Take care.